why are we afraid of the dark? When a normal fear becomes intense, persistent, or irrational, it develops into a phobia. Acluophobia and nyctophobia are two terms used to describe a phobia of the darkness or the night. Some experts believe that fear of darkness is genetically coded in humans. Our ancestors were simply afraid of being eaten by nocturnal predators. While the senses of other nocturnal creatures evolved over time to compensate for the lack of light, humans remained comparatively helpless in the dark. In a study of lion attacks in Tanzania, 474 humans have been attacked from 1988 to 2009. 60% were attacked between 6 p.m. and 9.45 p.m. Most of the attacks occurred during the span of darkness between sunset and moonrise, a period of time that lengthens following the full moon. Hourly attacks were two to four times higher in the first 10 days after the full moon than during the 10 days before it. The fear of darkness is one of the most common fears among children. It's most prevalent in children between the ages of four to six years old but it does begin to decrease in a majority of children after the age of nine. Sigmund Freud believed that our fear of darkness is linked to separation anxiety and the absence of our mothers. He wrote, the yearning felt into darkness is converted to fear of darkness. 102 children between the ages of eight and 12 years old were asked to list what they fear. The children mentioned a total of 49 different situations or stimuli. The dark was the third most listed. But it is not only kids who are afraid. For some, the fear of darkness persists into adulthood. In 2001, a Gallup poll found that 5% of adults say that they are afraid of the dark. A recent pilot study of 93 undergraduate students hints that the percentage may even be higher. Many adults experiencing insomnia may be afraid of the dark. The researchers created an objective test to verify the responses. Participants listened to bursts of noise in headphones while in a bedroom with the lights on and then with the lights off. Poor sleepers were more startled by noises. And these reactions were heightened when the lights were off. Studies have also shown that the darkness is good for us and not embracing it might actually be harmful. Prolonged exposure to the light before one goes to sleep suppresses the release of the sleep hormone melatonin and may increase the risk for mood disorders, sleep disorders, and obesity. It's natural to feel vulnerable in the dark, but should we be any more worried about being a victim of a violent crime after the sun sets? The U.S. Department of Justice's National Crime Victimization Survey keeps data on violent crime and the time of occurrence as reported by victims. This data ends up showing that though many people are afraid of the dark, crime statistics do not clearly show that this fear is justified. Do you think that you might have acluophobia or nyctophobia? What effective form of treatment for phobias is cognitive behavioral therapy? A trained therapist helps one confront the feared object or situation, in this case, darkness, in a gradual and methodical way until the fear is reduced or conquered. Do not hold out on treatment if you do suffer from these phobias. Ask your physician for help. Your latest know-how on the fear of darkness comes from OnlineClock.net, the world's original online alarm clock.